we used to be uh, two guys, two Uyghurs, me and another one. Another one is was working at the reception. He's called uh, Abdul Karim. Uh, I I was a protocol officer and the visa. I used to sign the visas. And a lot of Uyghur people are coming uh, in Pakistan to to apply for visas to go to China. Then uh, one day Abdul Karim received the telegram from China saying that uh, his mother was very sick. He should go back immediately. And uh, he, he, was, he was called by, uh, by the consular ambassador to, to their office and they had already bought a ticket, air ticket. He should uh, go back the same day. It, I think it was a uh, Monday morning. Then he was very frightened. He said, it's not possible how my mother is sick. He never, because two days ago he called the uh, home and uh, he, his mother was fine. And he, he came to me. He asked me what to do. Then we called together the two, China. And we asked <coughs> his family. Everybody said the, the mother is okay, no problem. It is a trick. Then we realized maybe the embassy was suspecting something about Kerim or me. Since Kerim was younger than me, and uh, I was responsible for the reception work. Then we left uh, the two, Kerim and me. Because I was sure, Kerim, as soon as Kerim was set back, uh, sent back, uh, the next person <laughs> was me to be punished, to be sent back. Instead of being sent back by the embassy, then I, I preferred to go to leave the embassy. We used to help the students, the Uyghur students in, uh, in Pakistan. And uh, I issued many visas for Uyghur students holding a Pakistani passports who wish to go back to China. As the, <coughs> the Chinese embassy didn't uh, recognize the status of these Uyghur students holding a Pakistani passports. I did it. Uh, I was disobeying the orders of the embassy, in fact. For me, it was not uh, an important uh, thing. For me, just uh, based uh, on humanitarian ground uh, because I, I thought that they were Uyghur people. Why do they don't have the right to go back to their hometown? And uh, another thing was I didn't at all appreciate that we were always suspected and followed by our Chinese colleagues I think they didn't have uh, confidence on me, neither on my colleague uh, Abdul Karim. So I, I was very much annoyed of that. If I went back, uh, I don't think they will. Uh, I will be executed or death sentence. Uh, but uh, one thing is sure: I will. I will lose my job. I will be sent. Uh, Maybe to the countryside or a labor camp, uh, it's possible to, to reform. <laughs> I think I left uh, the Chinese embassy. I, I was afraid uh, that I would be punished by the Chinese authorities. This is one reason. I think another reason, maybe more important, I, I was looking for freedom. I, I didn't support 
I, I, I could bear uh, no more uh, that uh, situation to leave. I had uh, some very close friends in, uh, in Pakistan. So we, when we decided to leave, the first thing to do is that we called our, one of our friends in Pakistan, in Islamabad. And uh, this man, he knew very much, very well about our situation in the embassy. So he understood immediately, he, he, he called immediately, He's, uh, he has two or three sisters working for, one was working as, as employee in the US embassy and the other two were working for the United Nations in Pakistan. So they called, I think one of the sister called the US embassy and they, we, we had the, uh, the first contact with the official one, US official in the US embassy who said that we can go, they would accept us. So we went to the U.S. Embassy, but uh, unfortunately <laughs> we stayed six, seven hours and we were kicked out. They said they couldn't accept us for different reasons. And uh, we were very much afraid, uh, we didn't know what to do. Uh, so we left for Peshawar. You know, Peshawar is a, a frontier city near Afghanistan and uh, many tribal uh, uh, people uh, living there and with many refugee camps uh, accommodating uh, Afghan refugees. It was the Pakistani friend, our friend who took us in his car. And as soon as we arrived at, at uh, Peshawar, our friend, took us to the High Commission, UN High Commission, Commissioner for Refugees in Pakistan. And uh, it was the High Commissioner who, who arranged for us to come to Switzerland. And later we learned that uh, the UN High Commissioner asked five Geneva, their office in Geneva, to, to ask four or five countries in Europe to accept us as refugees. I think they said that the Switzerland was the first country who said, okay, these two men, they could come <coughs> to Switzerland. And later we uh, saw uh, an uh, young official from uh, the International Red Cross who visited us in Peshawar. Of course, we, uh, we were living always in hiding. Seven days in one of his sister's house and ten days in a remote village as we were uh, searched uh, permanently by the Pakistani security force. We read it very often, news very often news in the local newspapers talking about us. Sometimes they said the two Chinese diplomats left for Europe <laughs> in, uh, on a ship uh, from Karachi. And sometimes we saw a small article about us that we were caught and sent back to China. So uh, this, from this Swiss official, we, we received uh, uh, our travel uh, document uh, uh, issued by the International Red Cross and uh, we our name were completely changed and the reason to go to Switzerland is for medical treatment and uh, we were we disguised ourselves as Af Afghan refugees 